Okay, well, I think we've seen enough in Narmok, but there are a few things nearby I would like to show you. If you'll just come this way, ma'am. Whee! <laughs> Smack. Oh my god. What? There is a skull with a glass netch dagger. A little buck tooth. Yeah, it's a little buck tooth skull. Are they all well buck tooth? No. Normally you can loot them and they look different. This one is non lootable and has a little oh. buck tooth. All right. Anyway, there's a score right there. Concealing murder evidence. And we thought this was a nice little town, hmm? Mm hmm. Wrong. Now, of course, there is. Another stump right here. And inside that, there's a quality potion of invisibility. Ah, baby. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good loot. Okay, now over here, there's nothing there. Nothing here but a bunch of dumb old mushrooms. And then there's a cave here with a door on it. Now, why would you have a cave with a door? Well, all caves need doors, naturally. Let's go inside, shall we? This is called Shirinba. Oh, oh my god! Let's not go in there. <laughs> Epic moment. Now look at this log. This is huge. This is the same as the other hollowed out logs, but it's real big. They just pressed the plus button. They on did. It. They pushed it up. I made it real big. And there's nothing in there, though. That's a shame. That is a shame. There should be, like, a whole ass chest in there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Okay, but over here, very important, another big log. Check that. Nothing? Okay. There's this little island over here, and it's very whimsical, very lush. And in here, there is oh. a stash of 25 gold and an exclusive potion of shadow. Very epic. You become a shadow. Indeed. And then in this stump, there's nothing. But most importantly, of course, there's this shack. It looks abandoned, and indeed, when you inspect the door, you'll find it is an abandoned shack. <laughs> indeed. On the donk, there is a barrel and some crates, and there's nothing in them. There is a fishing pole here, and there is a place to tie up your boat to one of these little boat tie-up. Boat tie. Boat tie spots. And then there's a boat, but it's tied up to this pole instead. <laughs> I don't know why. How dumb. Yeah, it's just dumb. There's a couple of oars in here. Very good. And the dock is all fucked up. Look at it. Who did this? Some <laughs> fat man? <laughs> a fat fisherman? <laughs> Some very fat fisherman out here. Drinking, fishing, fucking shit up. Breaking wood. Knocking over his poop basket. No poop to be found. So around back, there's our good friend Wooden Barrel floating, as well as our good friend Floating Barrel, Wooden. <laughs> And some floating dock planks. Well, there's where the dock planks ended up. Oh, Somebody yeah. brought them out back and made them float. And there's a little bottle, but it's not wiggling around. It's stationary. Sad. Sad, indeed. And there's a little shipwreck out there, but it's boring. We're not going to look at that. We got some Bangler's Bane here. <coughs> Bangler's Bane. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't do it right now. Okay, Bangler's Bane. <laughs> Bungler's Bane, everyone. <laughs> Chungler's train. Well, we better take a look inside an abandoned shack. Abandoned shack. Going in. <laughs> so there's some baskets. They're empty. Except for that one, which has crap in it. I like crap. There is a fishing pole. No doubt used for catching fish. There's a poop bucket. Empty. As well as some barrels with crap in them. And behind the bed, there is a drum. And you can't play it. You cannot play that. You can take it. Yay. And then there's a loot. Cannot play. Cannot play, but you can take it. And look, there's gold on the floor. And in the little crevices. Gold. And like, somebody had to actually put these down there because there's no physics. Isn't that fascinating? That's pretty cool. Attention to detail. Yes, we love it. It's very nice. In the barrel. Oh, we got a wild spark sword, baby. Pretty cool. Was that different? Yeah. Before? It's different every time. Oh. Not that we've been in here before. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a crate with crap in it. Like crap. But there's a book called No H's Picture Book of Wood. Is it really No H? Well, or it is says it no... No dash H apostrophe S. Yeah. Nose? No is... No H? Right. I don't know. All right. Wood is pretty. Wood is nice. If one looks good, I'll make it twice. Upon reaching the last page of the book, the words Boat Ack are seen scrawled about the margin in a vandalistic manner. 
This, I believe, is an inside joke to referencing something on the Bethesda Softworks forums back in the day, but I don't know for sure. And I refuse to do any research. Research is for stupid people. Indeed, indeed. Good. 100 gold in that sack. Very nice. Yoink. Now, there's a table with a bunch of stuff. Looks really bad. <laughs> Men think it's okay to live like this. We do, indeed. However, something's off about this bowl. See, the thing is, normally a bowl is right side up, so you can put stuff inside of it. But this bowl is upside down. <laughs> now, why, why would a bowl be upside down? <laughs> what do you think? Should I check? Should I check what's under there? There might be a little present. Okay. I bet there's. Let's just turn that over. Let me oh. guess. Oh, I was gonna guess. Well, but... you can't. What were you gonna guess, my I... dear? <laughs> two balls. Two balls, indeed. <laughs> you got the right answer. There's two white balls there. Nothing but two white balls under that bowl. <laughs> and they're worth lots of money. They're very expensive balls, by the way. Anyway. As far as I know, that's all there is to see in this shack here, so let's exit. Ha! Ah! For our next thing, we're gonna need to go back south. And we're gonna need to do it quickly, so I'm gonna need to increase my speed. Increase. Yeet! Wee! Wait, I'm gonna need to increase my speed. Yeet! Yeet! Uh. Trying to go. Okay, now this town might look familiar because this is Hlaod, my dude. And you can tell it's Hlaod because Glanagoth is here. This is um, Fargoth's boyfriend, <laughs> Fargoth's lover, if you will. I would think that they're brothers. Okay, could be Fargoth's brother? Because they both got Goth. What, because all wood elves are related? Is that what you're saying? Probably. You Racist? Don't they like inbreed? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know, dear. <laughs> I thought I learned that. Well, that's disgusting. I... Lana... So he's his brother and his boyfriend. Ew. They're breeding Ew. together. They have little goth babies together. Is that what you're saying? Well, I, I suppose that's possible. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Uh... <laughs> Over here, there is this thing. Do you know what this is, dear? Well, I may have learned recently. What did you learn? Uh, that it is a Daedric shrine. Yes. Is that correct? It is. However, it appears to be in disrepair. Yes. Very bad condition. It's very sad to see. Bad and sad. Bad, sad, and wad. And there's a little orc lady over here named Ashug Gra Alorba. And she's cool. And then right up here. Nope, not right up here. Over here, there's a little orc man. <laughs> He looks pretty big. And his name is Muzgunk Grove Borbog. <laughs> Borbog. And we love him. He's so sweet. Anyways, <laughs> over here, we find a round anus on the side of this building. And it appears to be the door to the shrine. Won't you join me? Put it in. Let's put it in. Ah! And now we're inside. Now, I do have AI turned off for our protection, so we will not be attacked inside here, but rest assured that the orcs in here, spoilers, are very hostile. Are the ones outside hostile too? That I don't remember. I don't know if I've come here recently with AI turned on. Anyway, you can swim through here and find a little chest. And inside the chest, you have Rising Force Potion, Water Breathing Potion, 36 Lessons of Vivek, book. Important. Ancient Rusted Daedric Key and a probe. Ew. Which indicates that you might use that to, uh, you might use that to disarm traps, you see. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Let's continue on. Now this is a shrine, baby. Oh yeah. That's what I call a shrine. I could worship the shit out of this Daedra <laughs> in here. It's so cozy. Hey, what is this, Malakath? He's got a big old sword. Curved sword. He's got a big old curved sword. Yeah, I'd say it looks like so, gonna, can you confirm? I don't know. Because uh, normally I think you can interact with the shrine, but oh. not this one. Huh. And normally it will say, like, what it is. Right, right. right. Yeah. Hmm. But sure looks like Malakath to me. He's yeah. no, got no shirt on. He's fully nude. There's fully orcs nude. everywhere. Speaking of orcs, who's this orc? We've got Rollfish Gradugal. Good, uh, good name. Good Thank name. you. Over here we have Durgra Durgash Grow Rushub. Good man, good man. 
Holy man. On this little table, we've got the horror of Castle Xur. Ooh. Destruction skill book. We've got a game at dinner. Classic Elder Scrolls book. Good book. Alchemy book, of course. Several really good scrolls and potions. A nice red candlestick. And what's that in the corner? Oh, Why is what? there a candle all the way back here? What the heck? Who even lit that shit, dog? How? Who? Where? Why? A little worm zone back there? Huh. A little worm lighter? Huh. Get a long stick. Weird. Oh, wait. I want to do a little wife shot here. That'd be fun. <clears throat> and then back here, we've got a little candle. Like, how the heck? did that even get back there? Any ideas? I I couldn't tell you, yeah, but I, eh? maybe there's a little stick, a long stick. A long stick? Where I, I haven't seen any long sticks, but let's keep an eye out for them, all right? Long okay, stick. Okay, long stick. Oh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> then there's an urn with lots of really good scrolls. That's good to see. Now at the rear, there is a locked and trapped door that probe might come in handy back here. Oh yeah, can you use a probe to poke at it? Yeah, you probe it to disarm the trap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I like to just face tank the traps. You get pooped Because I have god mode on. You got pooped. And then back, there's a freaking guy back here. What the heck? A white man is back here. What is he doing here? His name is Jonas? Johnsis? Jankus? Dalamax. Dalamax? Delomax. With his little, little arm. Little shoulder pads. He's got cold arms, but protected shoulders. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And he says, I cannot leave, not while my captors still live. And if you ask him about Uriel Septum, he tells us that Uriel Septum is over 80 years old, in poor health. He has two declared heirs, Enman and Ebel. But there is some controversy over the succession in the Imperial City. Good thing they're all going to die soon. Sad. Anyway, I'm not going to rescue him, but apparently he's waiting to be rescued. Interesting. Now, if you go through this door as well, Wait. you find yourself in a water zone full of water, just as wet as can be. And you're going to want to swim under the water, you see. Now, you can go up for air at this point in the cave. However, you're gonna need to go back down again. <laughs> and at this point, you might be wanting that water breathing potion. However, I'm a god and I don't need it. So I'm just gonna keep going regular style. How can you kill a god? How can you kill a god? And you just keep swimming your little body all the way through the water until you get to the surface at last. You find this little ramp here. You can go over the ramp and over these rocks. And suddenly, wait a minute, this looks familiar. We're back at the entrance. Wow. Oh my god. It seems that this is a linear dungeon. We went. With a shortcut when you're done with it. How about that? Circular line. I think that is Skyrim esque. Hmm. I think Morrowind fanboys are blown the fuck out by that. Okay. Now, leaving the shrine, you might see a door over here inside of a rock. Another quote unquote, quote unquote, cave. Yeah. And oh, there's what? a full ass barrel. What the heck? What's in here? Just a bunch of ingredients. Huh. But four moon sugars. Mm. Drug style. Okay. Well, we better go inside here. This is called Shawl, y'all. Ha oh. ha! And I will remind you, AI is turned off. There is no danger here. As we enter Shawl, ah! There is a crystal in Shawl. I sense no danger here. But not only that, there is a bone man! How many bones? He has hundreds of bones. So many bones. Spooky. I'm spooked. As you continue down, there oh is no. an additional bone man. Double bone. Triple the bone. Triple. That's the fucking, it's the triple bone. Oh God. No, this guy has actually way too many bones. Look at all his arms. Well, wait, but he's missing some bones too. That's true. He's got no bones at all coming out of his head. And he's just a floating top skull. His top bone is intact, but no bones below the top bone. Also, the top bone is very small. Is it smaller than usual? Yeah, look how small that top bone is. Okay, so it's a baby top bone. Guess, oh god. Yeah, I guess so. And it's breathing. Right. And he's Somehow. Like crystals. Anyway, excuse me, sir. I need to get through this door here. Uh-oh. Uh so the real reason I wanted to bring you in here is because there's a freaking lady in here. Lady! Look at her. She's fancy. Oh, yeah. And her name is Talura Ulver. She has golden robes. Yeah. 
And she... She looks sassy. ...is a sorceress, you say. So those are probably her bone men out there. Mm -hmm. She seems to be living a very comfortable life in here. Complete with one poop bucket. Pump. One poop cauldron. Pump. And one hot poop cauldron. Hot poop. Now, she has some very nice things in here. Several chests. 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 Tons of potions. Just absolutely stocked in potions. She has a book called Origin of the Mages Guild, which leads me to believe that she is, in fact, a Mages Guild member. I believe there is a quest bringing us in here somewhere, somehow. Cool scrolls. <laughs> in this chanced. There's some books, including Corpse Preparation Book. She's going to prep that corpse. So she's a corpsist. Well, I suppose those skeletons have been prepared. They were prepared to protect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And more potions. Potion. In this chest, she has expensive clothing. Nice. Oh, nice. And she sleeps on a hammock just like a poor person. But I guess she lives in a cave, so it's pretty fancy for a cave dweller. I suppose. Now, there is another locked chest here. And in this chest, you'll see, ah, she has a skooma pipe, as you can see here. She gets lit on the reg. Yeah, as well as low quality uh, apparati, apparatuses. So this is her skooma gear chest you see mm -hmm. she's a junkie she get a junkie junked. wizard junked but also on her table here there's a master's retort a master's alembic a master's calcinator and a master's mortar and pestle and a master's iron ladle she's a master as well as a alchemy skill book leading me to believe she's a master alchemist indeed well that about does it for shawl Oh. <laughs> Let's leave now. Spooky. Past, past the Halloween men. I'm scared. Out of the cave and into the world. Yeet. We made it. We didn't we get did. spooked to no, death. No, not spooked to death. Now let me check, check my notes here. Yeah, that was it. That can be it. Okay. So anyway, that was uh, some stuff. I just, I, some extra stuff the emperor didn't want. I on his report, I just wanted to show it to you. So, uh, what'd you think? I thought it was pretty cool. Pretty fun stuff. Yeah? Yeah. You did? Sweet. Thank you. Well, wait, what was your favorite? Uh... I liked the Daedric Shrine. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's not so bad. Well, I love you very much. I love you too. You want to kiss? I love kisses. I'll kiss you any day. Ugh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow. The pleasure is all mine. Pleasure.